whom it may concern. Here's an unbelievably true story about your ThinkPad that I thought you'd like to hear. I'm a computer technician for a major newspaper. And we depend on our computers to get the newspaper out. It's my job to keep the computers up and running. At work, I have a desktop, but I use my ThinkPad at home to check email and to monitor the workflow. It was September 21st, 2002. I remember the date because it was the day my daughter got married. I was at the church, saying goodbye to some of our guests, when my neighbor ran in to tell me that my house was on fire. Immediately, your house is on fire! By the time I got there, everything was pretty far gone. And what wasn't gone was wet. I remember standing by, just watching helplessly, when a fireman throws my ThinkPad out the second floor window. It landed below in a pile of wet debris. I was too dazed to think about it then. But a couple days later, I went out to retrieve it. It was dirty, it was wet, and the outside of it had actually melted shut. I took it inside the house, but I figured it was a lost cause. About three weeks later, I finally decided it was time to return my ThinkPad to the office. As I relayed the story of what had happened to one of my fellow computer techs, we decided to see if the ThinkPad still worked. We had to use a screwdriver to get the melted case open. Then we plugged in the power supply and I hit the power button. I couldn't believe it. The screen fired right up. It was a bit warped, but it worked. My ThinkPad had survived the fire, water from a fire hose, a drop out a second story window, and days and nights under wet, soggy debris. Not only did it start right up, all the data was intact. If I hadn't been there to see it, I never would have believed it. Thank you, ThinkPad. Sincerely, Keith Jones, Computer Technician.